<clears throat> Ecclesiasticus, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 2, verse 1. My son, if thou come, if thou come to serve the Lord, Yahweh Shah, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. And make not haste in the time of trouble. Flee unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased in the last end. And at thy last end. I'd like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh. Bashem, Yahusha, Bashem, Kakodash. The water Yah Bashem, Yahusha, for being us the apostles and the elders of great millstone, who deserve double honors, rightfully so. <coughs> Shalom, welcome to the Aki, I'm pushing the word of sincerity and truth, for being faith, grace, and being prepared for what is to come. And what is to come? Race wars, famine, concentration camps, God, by beach, is the mark of the beast. 200 million misses hit in soil in America. Sound will tell me see the jurors of Lord of the Lord for thy temptations. Sound will tell me see the jurors of Lord shooting laser beams at the ungodly and the heathens. Rightfully so. Hey, I brought this out of the Lord to the cause of this video. Just a vessel seeking salvation out of this filthy place, spiritual known as Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt, Babylon, and all the other filthy customs that I've taken upon. Uh, um, yeah. Time is 6.20 a.m. in the morning, um, September 16th, 2023. The whole free year old prophecies come to pass. And uh, this, this verse, this chapter jumped to my mind when I said this word, challenge. This chapter jumped in my mind. So, um... Mm. I just have a word. <coughs> How much word was it? Salakia. <laughs> Fell out of my head. Um. Lock. Oh, jeez. Hey, it's lock, yeah, man. A lot of thoughts run through my head. So, the word is right there in front of me. I know I'm going through it right now. It's a lot. Yeah. Challenge. Here's the definition of challenge. A call to take part in a contest or competition, especially a duel. So like the yeah, word looking at me, and I'm looking at the word, and I uh, totally forgot the word. <laughs> I was looking at the chapter. I thought it was in the chapter. But, um, yeah, challenge. A call to take a part in a contest. And, I mean, all comp competition, especially a duel. So that's what we are in. We are in a duel. We are in the contest. For Yahweh, I was shot. And we are contending for the faith of Yahweh Al Shah. So, he, um, he wants to see what you can do for him. I think you know the verses, but the verses of certain words just start to jump in my mind. Um, the first one just jumped in my mind. If I can remember the rest. Um, contend for the but. Oh, Jesus, that is wrong. Contend for the faith. Bible verse. According to Bible study tools, Colossians chapter one and verse three of Colossians twenty three and verse three establishes a contest not based on one combat only. Sorry, that's not. Contend, contend 
contend for the faith. Yeah, this is it. It's um Jude. I know it was I know it was Jude. I just ain't really sure. So Salakia. Let's see. Let's go over there real quick. And that's old day, man. Uh um, it's only one chapter. A little D in there. Okay. Salakia. Oh. Mm. It says, um, Jude chapter 1 verse 3. Beloved, when I give when I give all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it is need it was needful for you. It was needful for me to write unto you and exalt you. That ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. And and that's what we're supposed to be doing. Um, we're supposed to be um earnestly. It is a challenge, man. And uh And we're supposed to be fighting for this, man. Against our um um dueling against these other ones of the false prophets, you know, against ourselves, being great examples out there on the battlefield, man. Feeding the flock righteously. <coughs> so the readers in the, um in LT, right? It says, Dear friend, I have been eagerly planning to write to you about the salvation we all share but now i find that i must write about something else um the word that was urging urge urge yeah urge it's urging you to defend for the faith that Yahweh has entrusted once for all the times. Right? It says, entrust once for all the times in his holy people. And his holy people is his saints. So he entrusts us in this, man, to defend for him. That's a verse that keep jumping in and out of my head, Salakia. You know, um, trying to remember um certain verses that that turned this on, right? Thinking about um challenges, right? And the first chapter that jumped in my mind was um Ecclesiasticus, chapter two. So and the word challenges stuck out in my mind. So it's a challenge, man. Let's read this again in the NLT. Just get a little more. Dear friend, <clears throat> I have been eagerly planning to write to you about the salvation. Yeah, he wanted to write about the salvation. The kingdom of the Lord is coming. We all share. But I but now I find that I must write about something else. And what is it something else? To defend the gospel. Eager and we urging you to defend. <clears throat> it's an urge. It's urging us, man. Right. Telling us, man. Because it's out there, man. They won't stop, man. They relentless. You know, and they, they and they uh they fucking terrible at it too, man. 
they don't they will do anything to destroy you, man. And Satan keep he won't stop keep sending his little demons after you, man. It's after it's down the home stretch, man. And more things is happening now to me personally, right, than <clears throat> than ever. <clears throat> you know, and I'm praying just for the ones in my house with me. You know, right now it's just my me and my little one. But I'll be telling her, you better be praying, man. When you watch that fucking door, you be praying, man. Because Satan ain't letting up. He got to keep on coming after you to, to you to you. If we the ones, we're gonna be we're gonna we're gonna stand in touch from the top. That other verse just popped up. I should <laughs> I should have kept it. It was another verse. Um, continue. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use that one next. Um, I just saw a verse that was powerful. <clears throat> so we got to contend. We got to defend against the um. The other the um, false prophets. Oh, that was right there. That look, that was right there when I looked at the headline. Look, what it says. Let's see what, what it says. It says the headline reads over um Jude chapter one, chapter chapter one verse three, in the NLT it says the dangers of false teaching. So we got we got to defend against the dangers of false teaching because he wanted to tell us about something else about the salvation. But in order to get that salvation, you got to keep defending the truth. You know? Um, oh, yeah, yesterday. Well, after work, um, <clears throat> not been avoiding this person for a while, and like, just because I'm just trying to stay focused on the ministry, and I got my own little issues, but and I end up speaking to him, and you know, a real close friend in the world. And and all he's like, hey man, I just been thinking about you telling in my mind he said I he's like, Oh um he was he's going through it right now. You know, when I heard about it, damn. That happened all in one. I told him my problem, he said, Damn man, like and you know, I just started reading verses to him, man. Like yo, you got you got you know you gotta repent, you know. And I told you about that smoking shit, you know. You gotta stop doing that. I see you too old to be smoking cigarettes. I've been supposed to tell you stop. I've been told you to stop doing that, you know. And he's like, oh, you know, yeah, you but I know. So you got you got you got, you got to call on the Lord, man. I told you I've been told you the name a long time ago, you know. When I got it, you know, man, I told you about it, so. So it's not like, you know, I'm still doing this. I'm still doing the ministry of the Lord. So, yeah, man, I know you've been doing that for a while, a long time. You know? So, you know, he, um, I, I told him that this is this is, the this is only thing that's been preserving me. It's the only thing. Yo, man, I know, man, it saved your life, man. You know, I can tell. I know, he, he, you know, he, he, he can, you know, you know, me being out in the streets and shit, he knows. So, and things like that. I mean, he was he was the one that was on the train with me, and he I was always telling him about demons. He was he wouldn't take my word for it. Like the demons are they after us, man. They they definitely after me. They they know. <clears throat> he not could be someone, or I don't know. I just truly believe if. Why y'all watching my shot for um, for preserving me for me to be given a testimony about his spiritual powers that his his um his um um the things that's been happening and it's based on keeping faith in him. <clears throat> he was on a train with me one day. It was me, him, and my daughter. He was sitting across from us. We was talking, and this woman just came out of nowhere. I mean. I had my daughter sitting right here, and she just came. You think you're so special? And then, like, walked off the train. And, like, nothing happened. My boy was looking at me. He was looking, and I pulled my daughter on the other side, and I was like, what the fuck? I was like, oh. And I, I was telling him, I said, see, these demons is on these people. So he look, he's always looking at me crazy. And to the days he started telling me, yo, man, you right, man. Yo, it's demons. <clears throat> you 
And I was telling him, we was talking, you know, you know, just talking and stuff. And he started telling me about, so he was always telling me about demons, man. He said, there's a weary, a weary, a weary, a weariness demon on me. I said, I know, I told you. I said, that's a demon, I told you. You always worry about, you know, how you're going to get this. And I told you, all you got to do is pray to the Lord. Things got to happen. He, you know, he always quote what I say. But I said, that's me, how about some young shot? You know? <clears throat> and he was like, yeah, man, you always took my holes in the pocket. We definitely got holes in our pocket. See, I told you, man. Every time we get anything, we got to give that shit away, man. We're not made, we're not, um, we are subject to payment. No. Oh. <clears throat> Continue in the faith, Bible verse. And that's what I'm hoping to be doing to the very end of this, man. I don't, I don't want to be, I don't want to be doing nothing else. <clears throat> and I was telling him that it's like, man, I ain't trying to do anything else but this truth, bro. I can, I, I can't even see myself outside of this, man. You know. And, and I feel like you know, the tempter is always tempting. So it makes logical sense if the tempter is still always tempting. That means we have to do our videos every day. All these, um, every other day, you might, if you miss a day, you need to do two videos, you know, because the tempter is not missing it, he's not missing the day, you know, he's out there, man, he's like, he keep fucking around, man, <laughs> hey, man, and then you can get one thing, and here comes the tempter sending three more things, you get one way out, and then the tempter block you three other ways, man, now break these three obstacles, <laughs> hey man, I always think about Joe, man. I always think about Joe every time I, I was telling. I mean, I was, you know, you know, he's like, man, I just really, and I ain't speak to him, and, and like, <laughs> I always stop talking to him. Like, right? cause I'm trying to focus on his ministry, man. Like, it, yeah, we we did music together. So we could have been famous, but that's not what I told him yesterday. I said, listen, man, let me tell you something, man. I want to walk on air. I want to walk underwater and pet fishes, man. You know, I want to, I want to, I want to breathe out of space. I can't do that in this body. I'm not. I can't be a rapper, and that is not. It's not happening. It's like, besides, we old now, man. I ain't trying to compete with tight pants, niggas, man, and crazy looking weird motherfuckers. You know, and. So, um, this is, um, Colossians, Col Colossians chapter 1, verse 23. If you continue in the faith, grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which ye have heard, and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, Whereof I, Paul, am a minister. That's right. Wow, I got some other verses. I want to get this there. I want to show me back to those verses. Wow. I want to use that minute. Hold on, hold on. Don't go nowhere, buddy. Um, I want to go here. Open up one tab. We gotta stay rooted in this, man. Cause Satan, the tempter, is not stopping, man. He boy, that boy, that boy could throw down. He saw I me. Mean, um, <laughs> Satan be getting down, man. He be fucking up shit, bro. You be looking like you. Oh shit, you might think you did something. When they kind of find out, that's his job to keep on, um, keep you, um, see how much you in the faith, man. And I realize that. Let me see. Come on, man. I need to get it where 
passing good form. There you go. Just want to just blur it. I want to see what it says. Attainment. Attainment. The action or fact of achieving a, a goal towards which one has worked. So, that's, I just want that word. Attainment. Attainment. Mm. The action or fact of achieving a goal towards which one has worked. And that's, we want to achieve this goal. Once the, now, the, the goal is the kingdom, man. A thing achieved, especially a skill or educational achievement. And that's right. We want to bring out within us to the fullest, man. This is one's hope in being forever. They want to know our hope. Our hope is those little things I explained to him. I said, listen, man. You know, it was great, man. You was you did a great thing for me when I needed you at the moment. And I, and I asked the Lord, remember one other time, you know, when I was coming out off the streets. And, um. I had that little when she was little, you know, she was in the fucking stroller. And I didn't I had I had I did I had all this music, you know. I didn't know what to do with the shit. Majority shit I don't have no more, but I had a lot of music. And I just wanted the way out of not doing nothing illegal, man. And I was standing on the corner. Okay. And I was looking at all these motherfuckers out there getting money. You know, I say. And I was like, and I hear the tempter in my ear, like, look at this. You can get, you can get all this money out here. This is what I was hearing, man. And I was explaining to him. I always tell him this story. Like I said, and um, I can't remember if I called this other individual or he. I think he called me. I truly believe this part. Like I can't remember exactly that part, but I always say that. I was like, man, I remember Jay called me. And he was like, yo, E's back in town. You know, so I was like, and that was, at that moment, I cast a lot. Because I knew, you know, I was learning the truth. You know, I heard a lot. I got through the part when I, when I, um, um, you know, coming into the truth, I, I heard a lot from the, from the, you know, they, they talked about a lot of different things, you know. And, it was, I think it was 2008, yeah. And boom. And then um, I just started, you know, um, you know, selling my music, whatever. It was like, it was either go back into the, the drug game or um, find, a, find another way out, right? And then the, I started selling my music. And then I just told him, I said, listen. I ain't trying to be famous. I need some money so I can feed this little girl. That's it. You know. And I remember um, um, and I was shocked. Hey man, I didn't I didn't have no job at the time, and I was you know, and I wanted to be. I just wanted to not do nothing illegal. You know. And so. You know, the soccer continues. And and I was trapped in between another world trying to be, a, uh, trying to be, I don't know, I wasn't trying to be, a, I wasn't trying to be on TV or be famous. I had everything else right, you know. I was, um, I got into the, uh, the television thing, so I had my own TV. I was able to shoot videos, my own stuff, whatever. I was like, damn, man, all right, we're doing something. We're making some money. And he was always, like, known for making music. Everybody knew him, so when I wanted him to hear my music and do this, he said he had an idea. So it was like, I said, "All right, let's try this." And we did this music thing, and it was like whatever. And I expressed, I said, "Man, that's not the way no more." I said, "I thank you for that, man. You, you helped me out a lot. You know, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have got to the next stage of learning about Yahvashim Yahushua based upon the decision I had to make." So Yahvashim Yahushua gave me a. He said, he said, he said, look, you know, the tempter, right? He said the tempter, right? To say in there, talking shit, talk about, yeah, look, you can be famous now. He, I like this one. I, he said, yeah, that was just some dumb shit. The voice is in my mind, man. Yeah, look. And it was just one voice. 
coming out the right side, I got something better for you. If you do this, you'll be do you'll be great at you'll you'll be the greatest at this, man. And that voice for you, I was shot, man. He kept he said, look. And um I remember uh because I would you know I would come home, listen to listen to the video, watch the videos, and I just wanted, you know, the days I, I didn't wasn't working, I'd go sell my music, have my my wife was always take out with you. Take out with you. <laughs> I had to take my baby in the stroller and sell CDs every day. But having her. I ain't gonna tell you a lie, man. I was, I, she was little and, and and cute, so people would just give me money. Like I didn't even really have to. They didn't even, you know, I don't want you sell it to the next one. I was, I was coming over with so much money, like, and then she be at home, my, my ex wife be at home. Oh, and she just could smell money. But hey, man, we were just talking. We were just chopping it up. But I was telling him, like, man, this is, I want to walk on air, man. I said, this is it, man. So, um, this word right here. Attainment. Attainment. So, attainment. I want to attain, uh, attainment. Attainment. Attain. Attain the kingdom. So, it's attainment. The action or fact of achieving a goal towards which one has worked. And what we working on is kingdom, man. Working on this kingdom, bro. And I told him yesterday, man. I said, I told you to stop that smoking, man. I know, man. You're going through it. You know, you know. You know, you think about your, you know, he was he was not as bad as the worst of my friends, but he was always one of the guys that I seen doing something different than selling drugs. He used to sell t shirts. He didn't even he sell socks and t shirts. He had a mind to not hustle the wrong shit. But, you know what I mean? I'm with the wrong people. So I said, I, you know, hey, the Lord pulled me away from them dudes and had me in there with him. And who would have never, I would have never think I've been rolling with him. How much everybody, you know, I met him through somebody else. But the Lord brings you on paths to see what you're going to do for him. How far, how, what you gonna go through to meet him, man? And the one y'all watching out, shy he, he that he pulled me away from even that some that situation, you know. And then yeah, and years later, you know, you can see the worstness of the of the music industry, you know. And it's true, man. You can't you can't deny it, man. Like it's terrible, you know. Some of the rappers rappers look like weirdos, tattoos all on their face. The tattoos I got, I want. I'm trying. To, I'm. I was going. I was trying to figure out how to not to to I mean, get rid of them. And I had. I, I found this place to um to get race tattoos and shit. As soon as I was about to do it, I get jammed up on other shit. Say they ain't trying to um. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. The tempter does not stop. You are challenged on every side, man. So you gotta stick. You gotta stay rooted in this, man. And that's where we at. So um, this word is locked. This word is stuck out. Thank in this chapter, right? This is come um, Galatians chapter chapter one. The headline reads for this: Thankful for spiritual attainment. Mm. So that was that just stuck out. So I forgot the verse I was going to get. Let me see. Wow, this whole chapter is fire. Hold on. Um, wow. Hold on. I forgot. I told you a verse I was going to use. Yeah. Oh, 23. Okay. It's a lot here. So we got to, we got to, um, this whole chapter is, I, uh, man. Wow. I want to start here, though. We got to say.
<coughs> Let's go up two verses. So this is Galatians chapter 1, verse 21. And you that were sometime alienated and enemies in the mind by, by wicked works, yet now that he reconciled, God, and he did. All right, hold on. Let's go up another verse. Wow. I don't know where to start. All right. That's a lot there. So, <clears throat> yeah, we're going to go back there. So, like I said, it says on second on, on Colossians chapter one verse twenty one, and you that were sometime alienated and enemies in your mind by the wicked work, and I, we was, we was in this world doing all types of other stuff. When you read the chapter, you can read a lot more. But I just started right there, and we now. I mean, yet now, has he reconciled? He reconciled with us, man. Let's go into the word reconcile. And that's what he did, make call. He said, listen, man. No, um, Reconcile. Yes. Restore friendly relationship between. Restore friendly relationship. The Lord restored a friendly relationship with us, man. By having given us Yahweh Shah. He's the, he's the, gold, he's the, um, the one that he put between us. And he's done it. Cause to coexist in harmony. Make one show to be compatible. So we've been reconciled, man. Back to Yahweh Shemel Shai. That's all I'm trying to explain to him. And you got to get out of that world, man. I know it's crazy. Like, you, you, you know, he's not doing nothing illegal, but he just, you know, just the small things. <laughs> Some cigarettes, bro. Anything else, you got to pray. You got to pray to the Lord, man. I know, you know, you know, it's a challenge, man. It's a challenge, man. But we, we supposed to have been past stages, bro. You know, if you call, man, you've been told something, you put, you've been warned, man. You got to get your shit together. That's how I feel. You know. Verse 22. In the body of this flesh, though through death, to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. So that's what you want. You want to be un unblameable, man. You know. You want the Lord to say, that's my, that's my guy. You know? And that's what I want, man. I, I, man, I didn't even try to think about anything else, bro. But this, I'll tell you, just those little things that, hey, you know, I watch, I, I really don't watch, um, you know, like the anime, the, the, the movies now. Sometimes I might catch, you might, but I used to watch a lot of cartoons when I was little. Like Aquaman, he used to be chilling with fishes, bro. Come on, man. With blonde hair and shit, or or nigga with blonde hair could be down here chilling with fishes, but I can't with, with an afro. Without my shit losing um its fuzz, like you know, however long allows, man. You know, Aquaman was a brother with an afro, man, dark skin. Come on, man. I'm just saying, man. Fuck that, bro. Nobody wants to be blonde hair and blue eyes, man. And they want afro. I'm telling you, women want they chasing men with afros, man. Dog skin, but they ain't chasing no no they ain't looking at no eye shots. Colossians chapter one, verse twenty three. If ye continue in the faith, grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel which ye have heard. And he heard this, man. I mean, one day when he when I was down Thirty Fourth Street, you know, he was in he was in the shelter. I was in another shelter, right? And I just was like, actually, we was in the um, we was, we was in the same shelter that they that they transferred you from to go to the, another facility, which was in um, Bellevue. That was the men's shelter. So, 
And he's, he's running around doing CDs, but I'm staying, I'm holding posts. So he came past, he's looking, and he's like, he's looking like, and he says to me, like, later on, I think, like, yo, man, you found, you found what you was looking for. All the years you was trying to find something, and you're like, you got it now, you finally got it. You can tell, you know? So, you know, but his calling was, you know, you know, he's trying to figure out a way how to um, <laughs> still get the bag, should I say. Can't be chasing no damn money, man. Like, I just rather chase regular money. I mean, you know, he don't, he's, he's trying to build a company, you know. You know, I don't, you know, trying to, you know, trying to do this, do that, real estate and all this. He's, he got it, but then he got to face challenges, man. He needs, he needs a foundation. That's what he, I try to say. Your foundation got to be. He knows the name. I said, yo, you, I told you for years, you're supposed to be at, calling me about this, not nothing else, man. Don't be asking me about anything else. I'm not involved in anything else. I'm involved with Yahweh Shemi This is it. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm, I'm not in trying to get, I already told you, if I wanted to be, a, if, I, if, he, uh, if the Lord would have wanted me to be a celebrity, I'd be, I know I'd be super duper great at it. But this is the challenge, man, of fighting yourself of to not do nothing other than what Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah wants you to do. Just fighting for uh, continuing this faith, man. This is where, it, it, man, oh, man. Let me tell you something, man. <laughs> I never had so much, um, I had issues in the flesh, right? You know, in the, you know, but it's this spiritual fight, man. I'm going through it. It's like it's clear now, like. You can hear, you can, you can hear, you can see the demons on these people. They talking, they, they relentless. They are louder now. Like when you get a, a spiritual cleanse and you just feeding your, your spirit, like you speak your spirit more than you speak your flesh, yo, you can see it, man. You can see these damn demons on these people. And they're not, they're not hiding. They really wish they could show themselves more. But I mean, I fucking see demons, man, like, on these people, I fucking see these motherfuckers, these niggas be talking shit to me, on these people, I mean, on some other shit, bro, and I know he, like, like my dude, like, you know, he, he was with me, I was always, I said, yo, he said, you fighting demons, man, and, and I'm telling, he's mad smart, he's a smart guy, very smart fucking guy, man, he was worldly wise, like, He's very technical, like, like he knows he's smart, man. Like, and I'm looking, I'm, I'm hanging with this smart dude. You know what I mean? I ain't, I ain't got no, but he, he wanted to roll with me. Like, and I'm, I wanted to roll, I wanted to roll with him. I'm like, man, we about to, we could achieve something together. But and when he saw me come to this, I said, I went right for this, man. I said, nah, I said, the chat, the Lord, he, he off me, he said, Satan off me this world. And the Lord Yahweh shall offer me the world to come. That's right. If you continue in the faith, grounded and settled, and not be moved away from the hope of the gospel, which ye heard, which ye have heard, and which was preached to every creature, and I preached to him, man. I told him, man. I said, this is about to happen to you. And this year, I stopped talking to him for years. I said, I ain't talking to him. You know, or I cut him off for months. <laughs> I don't want to talk, man. I, just, I, got, I got to figure out a way to get the hell up out of here, man. And Pastor Hall, when this went over, it was funny because I told him about those the curses. So I said, what were you? I said, what's the opposite of blessing? I want to see what he remember. This whole silver thing. Curses. All right. So, so he remember He took on. And he, he so, you know, hey. Because I'm a good chess player. I learned how to play chess. When I was younger, so he, I said, you got everything, you know, you know how to do a lot of shit, but you don't know how to, you know how to play chess. He said, you never know how to play chess. I taught him how to play chess. I taught this small guy how to play chess, and all he does when he do talk, if he do talk, we talk about, it. yo, I know, how to, I'm, I said, he said, um, uh, I mean, I be playing chess, beating people like crazy, man. I said, you think you can beat me now? He said, I don't know, but. I'm just saying, man. I'm fucking really good now, man. I said, I bet. If he got the brain he have, 
Just imagine, uh, as smart as he is, if he knew Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. If he, you know, and he he knows Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah from, from my preaching of, of Yahweh, of the good news, the gospel. And I'm not going to change my story, man. I'm not going to try to make it fit me. No. I said, I told him what happened to me. I said, like, yo, I'm still praying to the Lord, man. I'm not letting him go. I'm not letting Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah go. It's a lot, I've been rambling. All right, first, I mean, Colossians chapter three, chapter one, verse twenty-three. If ye come, I mean, if you continue in the faith, grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel which ye have heard, and which was preached to every creature, which is under heaven, whereof, where I mean, whereof I Paul am made a minister. To, yes, and we are made ministers, man. We made to serve. Verse 24. Who now rejoice in my suffering for you? And fill and fill up that which is behind. Behind of the afflictions of a Mashiach in my flesh. Salah. <laughs> We are, we are, we going through the same affliction as Yahweh Shah went through, man. For his body's sake, which is the church. Yeah, man. This, this, this is, this is his ministry. And we got to keep going forward in this, man. We got to constantly endure these challenges, man. And that's why, that's why I'm at right now. And, you know, all my problems, man, you know. You know, before I turned the camera, I was shedding tears, man. I was just like, man, God, don't, don't let me go, please, man. You know, the why you I'm the why for not um for not leaving me out there, man. Not leaving me stranded, man. You know. And I was telling him charity covered the multitude of sin. You know, I ain't got no damn money. Shit. So he said he was really bad. Like, he was really bad off. Like, he didn't have... They, they, like, his situation was worse. Like, maybe... I don't know. He said his license was suspended. Right? And the, and the cops pulled up on him. They said, what you want us to take you or the car? So, he said... He said, he told me, oh, you know, you told me how to play chess. I said, I said, what's the most important piece on the, on the, on the um, board? The king. So I said, they can't take the king. They took the car. <laughs> I said, damn, what the hell you do, man? He said, I didn't do nothing, man. I, um, my, my insurance relapsed, man. I, I, fucking... I said, damn, bro. I said, yeah, I guess. He said, man, I'm doing what you tell me to do, but I still need money. I'm not chasing the dream. I'm just, I just need some money. He said, he said, you know, he said, all guys, a pair of pants and three shirts and three pair of drawers. I said, damn, man. He's out there, way out there in the Florida, in the sticks. So, I, I ended up sending him twenty dollars, man. He's like, and I, I said, man, he said, man, you're for it, man. I said, oh boy. He said, man, I, I went. I wish you stop, stop not talking to me. I said, I said, what do me do, man? Like, I can't, like, I don't want to hear about music, man. If I talk to you, I don't want to hear about. I just want to talk about this, this book. He said, this, this book is the book. I don't want to know about no music, man. I don't want to think about it. But I feel like he'd be tempting me too, man. The tempter would be on his ass. Well, come on. Man. And it's this dude, let's get this music going. Get the fuck out of here, man. I don't want to, that's why I don't talk to him. You know? So, I just want to build the church of y'all by some y'all shop. Um, so, So we have to constantly endure these challenges, man. And yes, it's 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 emotional, bro. It is. I'm not gonna say and tell you that I'm very emotional right now. Like I'm just going through my, my feelings, man. Like I'm just holding it together, bro. Like I'm just want the Lord to get this over with, man. 
Like, I, I, it's so clear that I'm, 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 I'm crying with joy, man. Like, I'm just, I'm like, man, you got me going through this, and then, you know, and I would consider, I wish consider, you know, he's a good friend, you know, but. The truth is more my friend. You know, the Yabashima Shah is more my friend. I think someone that put his life on the line like that for a bunch of people that's a bunch of idiots, that's more of a friend. Like, you know, you know, and I, I'm looking at it like that, man. I'm weighing my options, you know, like, nah, this is way more better. This is more heavier than this thing. This, this is light. This truth is this 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 is something to carry. This is a this is a burden to carry, man. This is a cross to carry, bro. You know? Ecclesiastes chapter two verse verse um verse one. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord Yahweh Yahweh Shah, prepare thy soul for temptation, set thy heart right. And constantly endure. Make not haste in the time of trouble. Con, you know, if we come to serve the Lord, we gotta we gotta hold it down for him. Cause and he's gonna he's gonna he's the he's the one that's, that's running us to the ringer. But he got you know he got Satan there to 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 go to and fro. Man, this thing is almost over, bro. I can feel it. You know, it's just a matter of things we gotta go through. I brought this out, he preserved me. You know? Just that's what I'm thinking about. I hope he preserved me. And set that heart right and constantly endure. Endure, man. Endure. Jeez, um I had a title. It was just on my tongue. And make not haste in the time of trouble. That's right. When it's time when you all fucked up, you just say, oh, the why y'all watch me out, shot for this next challenge. Let's see if I can overachieve it for you. That's what I say to myself, man. I'm like, oh boy. Here we go. It's a challenge. That's where you know where the challenge begins. Whatever the obstacle you in. When you see the beginning, that's where you gotta pay attention. Here's the challenge. What you gonna do after this one? Cleave unto him. That's what you're going to do. Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased in the last end. The last end of this challenge, man. Jeez. So, you know. Oh, man. I feel so much better. Because I was going through it just a few before I turned the camera on. I was definitely going. I feel like a, like a, a low lift off. But that note just got a little light based on reading the scripture. There's good news, there's gospel, there's hope. You know, so. I hope that was clear. You know, I'd like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh Shemel Shah by Shemakar Kodach. The Wadi Yahweh Shemel Shah for giving us the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Akim. Shalom.